standing position in both the patients standing upright with their back in normal curvature and the feet um, slightly apart, uh, either uh, pelvis or shoulder width apart, and uh, symmetrical weight bearing on both limbs. Uh, when we work with our patients on standing, we have to always remember that our balance in standing position is maintained mainly via three systems. The uh, somatosensory system, which brings uh, proprioceptive input and sensory information from the body, particularly the lower limbs into the brain, and the visual system, which provides information about the visual surround, and the vestibular system, which uh, provides information about the position of the head and its movement in space. So these are the three systems that are involved in obtaining normal uh, postural control in standing. And one of them is often compromised in patients with uh, neurological disorders. Uh, so when working with patients, we have to first observe the normal standing position and in order to assess their balance, we look at the response to uh, different activities. One of them is perturbation, and we look at normal uh, postural strategies. So we have three strategies that can we look at. Uh, please uh, move sideways so we can view them from the side better. The first strategy is the anchor strategy. And here, uh, this is response to light perturbation. So either, for example, uh, backward, and, uh, backward or forward, okay? And here we see that movement is only happening at the anchor joint. And if you try it on yourself, you can see that in one, you, we feel the uh, tool pressing against the ground and maybe uh, raising the heel. And with the other one, it's the heel pressing and the toes going up. So it's either moving dorsi or plantar flexus. This is the hip, uh, the ankle strategy. And here, the whole body moves as one block around the ankle as its axis of rotation. The next strategy is the hip strategy. And here, movement occurs at the hip. This usually happens in response to larger perturbation. So say I'm going to give you a push uh, forward. Okay, good. And we always give patients time to go back into erect, uh, upright standing. And uh, backward, okay, good job. And here, the upper body moves around the hip joint. Um, so the movement of the upper body is in one direction, whereas the lower body remains in its place. The last strategy is the stepping strategy, or change of base of support. So the whole time so far, we were maintaining the same base of support. Now, if we give a larger perturbation, I will give you one from backward. Okay, thank you. And we have the patient take a step, or if there is something in front of the patient, they would reach for it. So these are the three strategies.